Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, The Mighty Bjorn, and today I'm going to be talking about it, Black Hawk Holster. I've recently been trying out, checking out, seeing how I like it. And that is the uh, Black Hawk T-Series L2C. And this does also have the jacket slot belt loop system to it. It actually came as one whole piece. Well, it needed some assembly, but essentially the leg strap the loop system and the holster all came in one package. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a review, give you my thoughts about it, and go from there. But let's get a close-up first of the holster so that way I can show you some of the dif different features. All right, we're back, and I'm just going to show you a close-up of the holster here with my TSOS Raider in the holster. Now, this is actually my only L2C. I also have two Serpas for 1911s. This particular model is for... 1911s um, and it's for railed and unrailed now their one feature I like about it is like I said it came with the the jacket slot belt loop and I really like this I actually like this better than the drop holster tactical drop holster leg system because this does not move and shift around like that did now the screws aren't in here right now but you can actually take these screws out and you can just loop it up over a belt and put the screws back in. Great feature in my opinion. This also came with a leg strap. And what you have is, is you actually have in, inside here, there's actually an aluminum bushing. And that's what allows this to swivel back and forth. The strap here is made out of the same material that they used for the um, tactical leg system. So it's actually pretty good, hardy material. It's elastic, so it stretches. And what it does is it actually helps keep the holster in place and prevents it from flopping around like whenever you're running and stuff like that. Now right here you can see there's an adjustment screw. And honestly, I've been finding it kind of tricky to find that right adjustment spot for my TSOS Raider here. Now one thing it does have, instead of having the release on the outside... It actually has the release on the inside and essentially what you do is is you press your thumb up against your firearm and you draw it out and it's really nice because it's actually tight enough in there that i can't it's hard for me to reach in there and to flip the safety so that's actually a good thing particularly for the 1911s not going to be so important for per se your berettas like i said you just push and pull it's real nice. Um, now, a couple features personally I really don't like about this is if you look, it's kind of big in there. This is specifically for 1911s. The TSOS Raider is a clone of the Colt M45A1, which is just a more modern 1911. And it's, even with the tension screw, it's kind of loose in there more loose than it is in my serpa um there's actually one other issue here that i also kind of have with this and it's actually got to do with the thumb release and i'll show you what that is here in a little bit all right folks now there is one issue i found with this holster and basically and it's an issue i don't have with the serpa However, there's also a benefit to this holster that the Serpa doesn't have. Now, I noticed earlier when I was messing around, when I pulled my hoodie up and I went down to grab my gun, I pulled my hoodie down into the button and I could barely feel the paddle release. So when it comes to wearing longer garments, such as this one, it can be a bit of a nuisance on that button, on that inside paddle. Now with the Serpa, obviously if I pull it up and back like this, the Serpa button is on the outside right here. And it's a lot easier for me to pull it out and bring the firearm free. Now, one other benefit though, this to the, for this compared to the Serpa is because the paddle is on the inside, the release, the sprains and things of that nature is protected. Where with the Serpa, with it being on the outside, it is a little susceptible to dirt. So I want to say this holster is kind of a give and take. 
And me personally, I don't think I'm actually going to get away from using Serpas. I really like the Serpa. I like my Serpa Sportster for this 1911. Fits really The 1911 fits really good and snug in there. It doesn't bounce around that much. It's a nice tight fit. Um, and I like the placement of the button versus the L2C, the T-Series here. Now, that being said too, with the Serpa, I can also put it on the the jacket belt loop system here, which is nice. And the nice thing is, I, I forgot to display this, but as you move around, if you kneel, the holster will shift with you. It keeps, this system here is just absolutely perfect. Um, but the holster, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good holster, but there's, a fe there's features I don't really like about it, so I'm not gonna personally switch. That being said, yeah, it's not bad. It's just based on how you essentially dress, folks. Me, I like longer garments. But anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Have yourself a wonderful day.